They were heading for Egypt's famed pyramids when their bus was hit. One in a series of suspected attacks targeting the tourism industry. Dozens of militants are now dead a day after a roadside bomb exploded here, not far from the Giza site. Three Vietnamese tourists and an Egyptian guide were killed. We saw people carry the dead bodies. Some people brought the wounded inside an ambulance to take them to Al Haram Hospital, and residents of the area helped to carry the injured. All of them were tourists. Hours after the deadly bombing, police in Egypt shot and killed 40 suspected terrorists during two early morning raids on their hideouts. The Egyptian government published photographs showing what it said were some of the militants killed in the raids. It's not clear if they were responsible for yesterday's tragedy, but Egypt's government says the militants were plotting attacks on tourists and government sites, churches and security personnel. Sometimes attacks such as this one can occur. It may even happen again in the future, said Egypt's Prime Minister. There isn't a country in the world that is 100 percent. Yesterday's blast is just the latest blow to Egypt's tourism industry, which has been struggling to recover from terror attacks targeting tourists because of the political turmoil and violence that followed the 2011 uprising. What they're doing is signaling to the Egyptian regime that they're moving out of their own territory and now attacking the very primary uh, source of income for many Egyptians. About 30 percent of the economy goes to tourism. Investigators are trying to piece together how a tourist bus was bombed despite the heavy security in its capital. Security measures around tourists already caused long delays at the country's airports and tourist sites, and tourist buses often get a police escort.